not be splitting from the rest of the system, at least according to lawmakers. Though a similar plan may be in the works. Madison and the other UW schools want to control their own budgets, set tuition, and make other decisions. As Fox 11's Lindsay Baramus explains, lawmakers are weighing the options. A proposal to break UW-Madison from the UW system has itself hit a breaking point. It looks like we're all going to get some uh, much needed, decades long needed kind of uh, management leadership flexibilities. Governor Scott Walker wanted to make Madison a public authority, giving it more control of its budget, tuition rates and other things in exchange for deeper cuts in state aid than other schools would receive. Lawmakers appear unwilling to back the split, but are leaning towards new freedoms for the entire system. In a statement, Madison Chancellor Biddy Martin said more flexibility is crucial. A $250 million cut to the UW system without any ways of dealing with it is devastating to the state of Wisconsin, she said. It is going to be imperative that the legislature emerge from its decision-making next week with significant steps forward for all campuses, and I'm still hopeful that they will. Lawmakers Lawmakers are still debating which freedoms to offer and deciding how to divvy out the governor's proposed reductions. Madison would have borne half the burden, or $125 million in cuts, but that was as a public authority. If Madison stays in the system, system leaders believe the cut should be adjusted, closer to 40 percent. All the chancellors yesterday talked all this through and everyone agreed that that was not the right way to behave. Both university leaders and legislators know there's not a lot of time to hammer out the details. The Joint Finance Committee is expected to finalize the UW system budget by the end of next week. The governor's office did not respond to our request for comments. In Ashkash, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. Lawmakers are considering a number of compromise plans. Once the governor's two-year budget is finalized, it'll be heading to the full legislature for consideration.